Welcome to Sword Box Ministries. Thanks for checking out our Wednesday message. Joseph is still sitting in jail, and is still charged with the care of the other prisoners. Today Joseph is called upon to interpret dreams. Our verse for the day is Deuteronomy 13.4. You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him, and keep his commandments, and obey his voice. You shall serve him, and hold fast to him. Continuing with our story of Joseph today, you know, he's been put in prison, and yet once again God is showing him mercy and great favor. In Genesis 41 it says, And it came to pass after these things that the butler and the baker of the king of Egypt offended their lord, the king of Egypt. And Pharaoh was angry with his two officers. So he put them in the prison, the place where Joseph was confined, and the captain of the guard chose Joseph with them, charged Joseph with them, and he served them. You know, Joseph wasn't just sitting around in prison singing the blues. He was overseeing the daily activities as well as caring for the other prisoners. He was given great responsibility because God caused all that he did to prosper. The butler and the baker each had dreams one night. And when Joseph came to them the next morning, he noticed that they were both sad. And they explained to Joseph that they had no one to interpret their dreams. Now, Joseph was no stranger to dreams, as you remember. The dreams that he had as a teenage boy brought rebuke from his father and jealousy from his brothers. You know, we've all had dreams at night when we sleep. Matter of fact, we have dreams every night. Some good, some bad, and most will never remember. A dream is defined as a succession of images, sounds, or emotions that our minds experience during sleep. But the dreams that the butler and the baker uh, that they had had left them troubled and wondering what they meant. The dreams were obviously very vivid as they were able to describe them in detail to Joseph. And Joseph told them in Genesis chapter 40 verse 8, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell them to me, please. The dreams each man had weren't just ordinary dreams. Just like Joseph's dreams as a young boy, they spoke of the future. When each one finished telling Joseph their dream, Joseph gave each one their interpretation. You know, dream interpretation was big in the pagan nations who believed that dreams always told of the future. In fact, God had given Joseph dreams. However, I would tell you that any dream that would violate scripture is not from God. And to live our lives in fear or in light of our dreams is very dangerous. If you want to know God's will for the future, follow him. Read his word. Trust him. He will show you everything you need to know. The dreams God places in your heart as you follow him, study his word, and obey him. These are the dreams we should follow. The dreams that glorify him, bless others, and make a difference for eternity. The specific will of God on our lives. Not some strange dream we had at night, or a nightmare, or a fantasy. Did you know that the most common experience in dreams is anxiety? Well, my Bible tells me to be anxious for nothing. So God gave people a stern warning uh, in Deuteronomy, not to be led astray by dreamers, even if their dreams were to come true. It says, if there arises among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and he gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign of the wonder comes to pass of which he spoke to you, saying, let us go after other gods which you have not known, and let us serve them, you shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer. You shall walk after the Lord your God, and fear him, and keep his commandments, and obey his voice. You shall serve him, and hold fast to him. We are blessed to have God's written word to us today. God has revealed himself through his son Jesus Christ and through his word. I'm not saying a dream couldn't come from God, but our lives are to be lived by faith in Jesus Christ.